Hey YouTube, it's Matt with the Reptiles, and we're going to touch on a subject today that's been a little bit of a hot button everybody's talking about, and I've kind of decided to sit back and avoid it for a while before I gave my opinion, because I really wanted to um, not have an emotional response, right? And what I mean by that is sometimes things happen, we get emotional, and we blow up, and then more information comes out, and then it's like, oh man, well, maybe, you know. And I didn't want to do this too quickly. So I wanted to sit back and wait, even though that misses being the first person to talk and get all the clicks and whatnot. So when I did speak on it, I had thought about it, spent some time thinking about it, allowed more things to come out um, before we discussed it. But the other day, we received some of these little things here. And this will kind of tell you where I stand on my thoughts on this issue. Boy, I didn't do a very good job of that. It's a good thing we got extra. Lots of creeps in there. Anyway, so let me come out by saying this. One, uh, I'm going to be very careful in the words I choose in some ways. and I'm not going to always relate everything just to this, and then I'll get just to this, okay? But when you're dealing with legal issues, we may not like everything that's going to happen. You know, I know a lot of us, myself included, you know, disagree with some of the laws that have been put in place. You know, I don't live in Florida, so I don't have to deal with what the Florida laws are. Um, and, and I probably don't have the best understanding of why people in Florida chose to allow those laws to get passed. Because, again, I don't live in Florida. However, we do have to live within the laws that we have in our state. Uh, we have to live within the laws that we have where we're at, and we do, we have to get some permitting, do some things, do all these things, jump through these hoops, you know, and ours is not near as bad as what it is in Florida, or some other places, thankfully, uh, but I'm going to always advocate for living within the law that you have while fighting to either A, prevent stupid laws from getting passed, or B, trying to get stupid laws changed. The first one's a lot easier. It was easier to fight against stupid laws from being passed than it is to try to change a stupid law once it's already on the books. That's where Florida's always going to have a hard time. It's hard to move that needle back. But, um, and I will not blame law enforcement in any form, whether that is the parking guy, you know, to a sheriff, to even FWC, for enforcing the laws that the people of their state have told them have to be enforced, okay? Um, that's just what their job is. We may not like it, we may not like what they do, but their job is to enforce those laws. Now, let's get to the meat and potatoes of this. One, I, I think an instant eradication order is just stupid and should be challenged and challenged up the court chain because I don't think that should be legal at all on any animal, personally. You know, I, I just don't. <laughs> how, would, how would people feel if there was a law that said, well, there is a law. There's a law in the nearby city close to me that says how many cats you can have and dogs. Cats and dogs combo, you can only have so many. Let's say it's four. Uh, I don't know what the number is i forget it by this point in time and how would that be if the law was well if we come and there's six we're going to go get an order from the court that says if you have six animals we're going to come and randomly kill two of them so then you're within the law you only have four nobody would be for that if it was a mammal okay absolutely freaking nobody whatsoever would be okay with that so i think the idea of any control agency or law enforcement showing up and just systematically destroying animals on site. That is mind-boggling to me. Again, we allowed a stupid law to get passed. We... we I don't even know how that gets passed. Somebody should be challenged. And hopefully this gets that challenge going forward. Now, let's talk about where this went really south. To me, if it's an agency that you... Or running or work for and that is the order that you are mandated to follow or supposed to follow by the government even though it's stupid if you're going to go and you're going to do that uh under the, the cover of law you better damn know know what you're doing 
I mean, you better, you better have that down. And to show up there and kill an animal that is not illegal and is somebody's pet because you either A, didn't, take, didn't have the knowledge to know what the holy fuck you were doing, or B, take the time to look and figure it out it's mind-boggling to me. It's mind-boggling to me. You know, I just don't understand how that happens. You know, in in that in that world of, of law enforcement, there's a few mistakes that you can make that can never be undone. You know, and most of them are going to happen in the heat of a moment. And that is, you know, you know, maybe mistaking an object for an object that's not. And there's a bunch of science on that. And we have a shooting that's not the best situation, you know, or um, just making a bad decision under a lot of stress, you know, and we have a bad situation. You can't ever undo those mistakes when they hurt people or when they hurt things or destroy things. But about 95% of the time, our situations are not that dynamic. They may be dangerous, but we may have time to sit back and plan and come up with a plan and act a plan that we can stand behind to say it was in the best interest of everybody in the safest way we could think of to do that job after looking at it from multiple angles. Like, we have time. We have time on our side. We should always use that time. In this case, they're there carrying out an order. There's no fight. There's no resistance. I'm sure, people aren't happy, but they've got time. This wasn't an immediate thing. This wasn't a bang bang decision. You had time to go, hey, what is that? It looks different. I don't know. Let me use the power of fucking Google and figure it out. Just. <laughs> but but they didn't. They just killed something. Uh, they chose to make a mistake because they didn't even bother taking the time. Now, I don't know how busy these guys are or, or what these guys deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, but the biggest thing they have in their job is customer service. When you work in that customer service, believe it or not, is the biggest thing you have. You may not always be doing something people like, but you still should treat them like humans and provide good customer service every chance you've got. And at a bare minimum, they failed to do that. Um, I, I, I guess I have heard that there is some lawsuits that are supposed to be being filed. I truly hope they are. You know? Uh, and what I would like to see is, you know, these stickers are cool. That's great. Whoever did that, I'm all for that. But as these things get filed whenever these laws are coming in other places this should be something we point out you know like they went above their what their rights are they went above their bound it's kind of like if a street cop showed up and just said you know what i'm going to just search people at random like you don't have the right to do that they didn't have the right to kill that boa constrictor from what i understand none you know and to say oh we just didn't realize it oh it was a mistake if, if that was a dog, it would be on the news well beyond the reptile community, which has started to get there. There have been some news stories I know in Florida starting to kind of carry this. It's starting to catch a little bit of, of wind in the sails. But if this was a dog, and we went there, and we had to destroy a dangerous dog because of whatever rule, and we shot the pit bull, and then we turned right around and shot the golden, golden retriever, and said, oh, shit, I thought the golden retriever was this outlawed pit bull. The outcry would be massive. That would be a nationwide story, right? So what we, I think, need to do, and I'm not saying I have the answer on how to do this, because I, I, I haven't figured it out yet. If I had, I'd already be on my horse trying to get that done. Is we need to make this... A national story and well this is great we all feel this way and I'm gonna leave that right there as a matter of fact you know our national story can't be just 
F this, F that, F this, F that. We have to, as much as I like doing that, <laughs> we can do that amongst each other, but we have to appeal that national story and make the people who don't own snakes feel it. You know, feel like that could happen to them. You know, the idea that the animal can, the people down there in charge of wildlife control can't identify the wildlife they're supposed to control. They can't identify your dog versus a coyote. They can't identify a boa versus a retic. They couldn't identify then an alligator versus a saltwater crocodile that somebody released, which would die anyway. But they, they, they obviously do not have the skill set in which to do that. They can't identify a pet lizard from a tegu. They can't identify a cat from a caracal. They can't do those things, obviously, because they couldn't identify something that is so vastly different from a reticulated python to a, a boa constrictor. And people are going to say, yeah, there's so many morphs and so many colors. Maybe that makes it hard. Horse shit. Look at the face. One has heat pits. One does not. It should have been as simple as... As that. Hey, this doesn't have this looks different. Let me oh look at the face. There's no heat pits. Something's different. This probably isn't a reticulated python or a Burmese python. We probably shouldn't destroy this. I mean, um, the other thing I would like to see the state of Florida do is get this to catch even more wind down there and use this. And you hate to have to use a tragedy to your advantage, but guys got to use a tragedy to our advantage. Get this law changed where they do not have the authority to come in and destroy animals on site. If they wanted to, 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 to take that facility down because it's illegal or whatnot, they should have to take every one of those animals. They should have to hold them in proper care and proper storage until a court date where they can be identified properly by somebody that has knowledge to do so because obviously they fucking don't. Period. Period. And, you know, then as much as I hate the whole entire law, we may have to be stuck with it until they can get that law changed or get it thrown out from somewhere else. Um, but the fact that... that we're allowing, this should show, if we use it properly, that that part of the law, at least, should absolutely be different. Because they have failed to do it. You know, and, and I can relate it to a hundred things for you. You know, you can look at, I'm going to give you guys a case, uh, and it is a legal case. It has nothing to do with reptiles, but just bear with me. It's called Tennessee v. Garner. And if you get into Tennessee v. Garner, it deals with fleeing felon. Many of you have probably heard that. Hey, you can shoot a fleeing felon. Well, not anymore. But back in the day, the law actually said, if they're a felon and they're a running, you could shoot them. Right? And they trusted good decision making. Until somebody shot a very young individual who was going over a fence and, and really hadn't uh, done anything. I mean, he had. He had committed a felony that was a property crime and got shot for his troubles. I'm thinking of the right one. And then it caused him to look at that and go, whoa, wait a minute. Well, that was legal in this instance. That's stupid. And we probably shouldn't allow that anymore. And they changed that to a better prong test for when uh, that type of lethal force can be used. These guys probably should not have the authority to instantaneously kill animals unless that they could articulate that their life or somebody else's life is in danger if they do not. Such as, the tiger is mauling me. Okay, I get that. You know, uh, but I took an animal out of the cage and put it on the floor and misidentified it and used a bolt gun to its head is probably not an acceptable reason for them guys to do anything. Just leave the animal in its cage or take it. And you can even have the guy who owns it help bag them up if he wants to pre help preserve that. But uh, that is my point. I, the killing on site should stop. Absolutely 100% should stop. And we can work to change the rest of the laws. But when you go out there and you're, and you're talking about this 
with non-snake people, one thing I want you to remember is with snake people, man, we're all going to be really sympathetic, right? And we can be like, man, you know, like FWC kills pets. That's that's actually a really good slogan. The other one was, I think, just straight up fuck FWC was the other sticker. This is a better slogan because that's what happened. They killed a guy's legal pet. That's what we need to focus on. Not fuck them, not all of this, and not try to drudge up anger and hate because you're not going to get the same response because we're such a smaller community. And most of the people are going to go, yeah, I mean, you know the old snake, this old saying about the only good snake. So you're not going to get the sympathy from the masses we need. But when they think about they're going to come and kill your pets and my pets if we allow them to have this, you know, ability and that will resonate people when they think of their dog and their cat or their fish or whatever pet they have, their bearded dragon, their iguana, anything that's not a snake, plus it will resonate with the snake people. So keep that message there. Talk to people you can about what happened because they're going to ask you because you're a snake owner. They're going to hear something about it and they're going to ask you about it. Hey, what's about that deal down in Florida? And if you're like, yeah, man, fuck those guys. And you're all angry. I'm like, oh, shit, man, that guy needs to chill the fuck out. So... Take a breath, approach it. They went and killed a guy's pet. You know, like they're showing up and they can't tell the difference between animals and they just literally murdered a dude's pet right in front of them. It'd be like if they shot your dog in front of you and your dog was just sitting there on the floor wagging his tail. Put that image in their head to help them understand why this is important to us. Does that make sense? Uh, all right. You know, and that's where I'm at on it. Like, I disagree wholeheartedly with what happened. It should never happen. But we need to use this tragedy to make it sink in to the entire public as to why this has gone farther than it should and needs to be pulled back legally. Also, I think, I hope they're filing multiple uh, lawsuits there. Uh, and maybe even, I would like to see a criminal charge filed, to be honest. I would, because at the end of the day, they destroyed property they didn't have the right to destroy. I hate labeling animals as just property, but that's what happened, and that should be a criminal charge. Through at least minimum negligent. Uh, we should make sure to and push very hard to see any type of disciplinary action. I think we should make that agency go through shit tons more training uh, on, on that. I, it just There's all kinds of things that... I hope U.S. ARC, or especially the Florida version, will be working towards also getting that file. But when you talk to people, they kill your pet. It's much better than just dropping a bunch of F-bombs and being angry. Trust me on that. Um, with your reptile friends, fuck them. Say what you want. We all get it. We all feel that way. Non-reptile people don't. So you got to explain to them why it's important. Uh, Caleb, anything you want to add? What do you think? Am I crazy? Nope. Should we stay on the table and drop F-bombs, or should we, like, try to get people to relate it to their life so they move from either in the middle or I hate snakes to kind of on our side because they can see it happening to them? It's not productive. It's what I want to do, but it's not productive and not should be the thing we do. We should focus on the actual message. Yeah. Sometimes what we want to do isn't what we should do, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to get on the table and, and beat the pulpit? And you're going to get frothy, man, if you do that with a lot of people, but there are people who are already there. We need to, to get the people who aren't with us with us, man. And, and it's the message that you pass in when you have the chance that can do that. Kurt, what do you think? Yep. you got to give me more than that today, Kurt. Yep, ain't going to cut it. What do you think? Well, I'm proud. I don't know. It should have never happened, and we just need to make change laws and make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you're he's so understated. I love that guy. Definitely get that change, and then, too, like, make them... I would like <laughs> so much legal nonsense and so much bad press that makes them want to shy back from the overly heavy-handed enforcement. Because right now, if you think nationally, all the press is this. If you think about the last 10 years, the press has been... There's these monster pythons loose in Florida, eating your dog, killing the ecosystem, gonna eat your children, gonna do all these terrible things, and we gotta get them, boy, we gotta get them. We gotta pass these laws so they're not there anymore. We gotta do all this. And it was them damn dirty snake owners letting them go. Okay, we all know that's bullshit. But that's been the media, right? That's been the press. So the general people out there think FWC here is doing the Lord's work. You and I know different. So this is our chance to kind of flip that script and say, 
this isn't an invasive species, and they just flat murdered it because they don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. But we have to say that in a nice way that makes them relate to our plight. And by our plight, I really mean your reptile keepers in Florida's plight. And truth be told, you may be saying, I'm not in Florida, so why the hell do I care? And Matt, why do you care you're in Kansas? Because what's Florida's plight today is our plight tomorrow. Make no bones about it. What happens on those coasts eventually works its way to the more, um, don't get mad at me folks, the more sane states that don't tend to pass stupid laws as quick, and we kind of abhor change. Even good change. We're just slow to do it because we're in the middle. But if you don't nip that shit when it's there, it will get here. It will. I'm telling you, it will. So Florida's plight is also our plight now. So just when you talk to people and you get a chance, that's the message. They came and they killed a guy's pet because they didn't know what they were doing. Plus, sue the holy shit out of them. My God. Uh, other thing I thought about is if you're in Florida. I'm not in Florida, but... One thing the news likes is, you, and I'm not going to tell you to go do anything because there's reasons why I can't tell you to do anything, but I can tell you the news always likes a good protest now, don't they? Maybe, have we seen any protests down there about this? Not that I've seen. I mean, if we could get, I don't know, a few hundred people from Florida, four or five maybe, hundred, uh, outside of those offices with signs that say FWC kills pets and passing that message when the news media shows up and doing that and doing it in a respectful way, that can also help affect change. For whatever reason, protests bring out the best, right? I mean, uh, sometimes, sometimes it burns cities down. Don't burn the city down, but let's make our voices heard if we can. So if somebody is down there and wants to organize that, I can't wait to do it from Kansas, y'all. Somebody should probably be organizing that. Uh, all right, anything else you guys want to add? Nope. Nope. All right, guys, we'll catch you next time.